I want to get on to Huawei in just a second, but something very interesting has happened here within the last 10 minutes or so as they've wrapped up the session on stage in front of a Russian audience here that was expecting to hear very negative comments directed towards President Trump. The Chinese president, President Xi, has described President Trump as his friend and said that there are big investors that are bringing the U.S. and China together. Now, I don't know if any of those investors who are buying the market today are actually watching this event here in St. Petersburg in Russia, but that, to me, sounded very different from some of the negativity we've been hearing recently around this trade war. So that's interesting, and I think it's just something to keep an eye on, because the language from the Chinese president has been much more measured here than I think many people in this Russian audience expected. Now, the Huawei story has been fascinating. We know the situation that Huawei is in and the pressure it's under. One of the messages from the Russian president here is, this is unfair. This appears to be one of the first shots in a technology war. Let's hear what he had to say. Let's remember Huawei, which has not just been put aside, there are unceremonious attempts at pushing Huawei from the global market. Some call it the first technological war of the new digital era. And of course, the, the Russians, I think, are keen to show some unity with the Chinese over this issue and over their mutual pressure from Washington. What we've seen here as part of the $20 billion worth of business deals that have been signed between these two countries is an agreement for Huawei to come into the Russian market and work with MTS, which is one of the big mobile providers here, one of the big mobile companies, and start to look at rolling out a 5G system from Huawei in the Russian market. So I think that just sends an important signal, perhaps, as to how the Russians feel about some of the security concerns surrounding Huawei that have been flagged up by the United States, the Australians, and other countries that are part of the, uh, the Five Eyes Agreement, if you like, that security network that shrouds uh, the Western countries. Let me send it back to you on that, but fascinating, I think, just at a headline level, that President Xi's language has been much more moderate and the tone much quieter than we've seen in recent days on this trade dispute. Guys, back to you.